Hi everyone. Today I am going over the transformation of this holiday piece, Santa Baby. I originally drew it in color pencil back in 2020, I believe. That's what you see on the left. And then I did an updated version in digital art form <laughs> earlier this year when I first got my iPad. It was literally the first thing that I did, so I had no idea what I was doing. And then the updated version after I developed my digital art style. So I don't have a recording of when I did it in color pencil, uh, so I'm just going to show the other two. But as you can see, I'm tracing over the color pencil version in Procreate. And I'm doing this solid black outline because I didn't know what kind of digital art I wanted to make. Like when I first started, I thought I wanted to do like these tiny little um, illustrations. I was looking at Christina LeRae on YouTube. I was looking at likelihood art on YouTube. And that's like the kind of style that I wanted to go for. So that's why I'm doing this outline. And like I said, I didn't know what I was doing. So when I did the outline, I didn't even know about like stabilizing um, the brushes. So it was very sloppy, <laughs> as you can see. And then when I was shading in, I was using, I think I was just using a regular, um, what brush was I using? Let me see. It's just like the normal kind of brush that you would use to shade in round brush yes that's what i was using um so yeah it was looking flat <laughs> i wasn't sure how to um, shade with the round brush other than using a blending brush which i downloaded can't remember where i got it from uh but if i can find it i will definitely link it but yeah i was using like a um really smooth blending brush to make everything look more seamless when i was shading but it also like to me made it look um less sharp like it made the image look less sharp and clean the way i was doing it um also when i did it in procreate procreate I didn't actually like fix anything about it because there was a lot of things wrong with the original drawing as far as anatomy and things like that. And I just didn't fix those things. I just literally redid it and procreate exactly as it was. Um, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. But yeah, this is what it was looking like. And it's crazy because when I was painting it, when I was in the process of painting it, I really genuinely thought that this looked better than the color pencil version. And I thought I was snapping. <laughs> But when I look at it now, like it was actually worse than the color pencil version. And I don't know why I thought it was better. So this is actually the complete finished look. I was really proud of it at the time. Um, thought it was dope. 
And now we're going to get into the version that I recently finished after several months of practicing digital art and exploring things and just figuring out what I wanted my digital art style to be. And then finally figuring that out and being happy with it, I decided to go back, repaint this the way that I like to do digital art now. So the way I do it is I use the oil paint brush, the one that came with Procreate. I might explore other oil paint brushes in the future, but for now I'm using the one that comes with Procreate and I like to loosely paint and shade with the oil paint brush. Like I love the look that it gives. I feel like it has more texture. Well, it definitely has more texture than the round brush and I just like how I can kind of be a little lazy with it and it still end up looking so great and so realistic. Um, so I decided to change a few things about the look. I wanted to make her curvier because I was really hating the way her waistline looked in the other two, um, even though I modeled her after myself. <laughs> but even my waistline didn't look like that in the reference photos. Like, I don't know why I made it look so like, not curvy but yeah so i fixed that i made her hips wider mine aren't that wide but i wanted to make her hips wider i gave her more um visible breast <laughs> and i fixed up her little santa suit a little bit to match her curves um and then another thing that you're going to see me do is i fixed her arm so the reason the arm looks like that is because in the reference photo i had a phone in my hand obviously i was taking a selfie and that's just how i have my arm angled um i usually do that to like give my breast a little lift when i'm taking a selfie <laughs> So it's in this awkward ass position, but it looks crazy as hell when I switch the phone out for a mug because it's like, why would anybody hold a mug that way? So what you're going to see me do is I actually um, rotate her arm a little bit, make it straight, and then I'm going to go back and fix the clothing as well. Um, and I, re I had to redo the whole mug. But one thing I did forget to do when I was fixing this is I forgot to fix her fucking fingers. Her fingers look crazy as hell. <laughs> like they're too like stretched out from the thumb. There's too much distance between the fingers and the thumb, but whatever. Nobody was probably gonna notice that if I didn't say it. Well, actually, yes. People always talk shit about how artists do hands. They know we can't do hands, y'all. <laughs> um. I did also change the plate and I'm not happy with it. I feel like out of everything in this transformation video, the plate just got worse and worse. <laughs> like the best plate is definitely in the color pencil version, but we ain't gonna talk about it. So with this one, I definitely wanted to add a background. I felt like the picture was just way too boring without anything in the background. So you can see me like experimenting with different stuff. I definitely wanted to do <laughs> <laughs> like a Christmas tree background because I wanted to look like you know she's sitting in the plate of cookies and um hot chocolate that's set out for Santa right um so I wanted to do like a living room background and have like a bokeh effect with Christmas lights in the background but I just wasn't able to do that I couldn't figure out how to make it look the way I wanted to and one thing I noticed while I was doing that is that this brown background really was not um setting the picture off the way it should have i felt like she needed a much brighter background so that's when i came up with the idea to put snow behind her and i'm like oh i'll make it look like she's sitting on the windowsill with this like wintry background behind her um that way there's whiteness i felt like it really brightened up the photo and really made her look so much better and it's like kind of it's it's busy but it's not too busy so it just adds a lot of like it's a real background it's the first background i've ever painted in my life so <laughs> i'm proud of it and i think that was exactly what the photo needed to just set it apart so after i did this i was finally finally happy with this piece i still love the color pencil piece but this one is definitely better to me and it's, it's way better than the first digital version i did um but yeah this is the finished piece I'm definitely gonna make prints this time. I feel like I'm happy with it to actually make prints this time. So um, I'll link them below. They're gonna be on my website. And let me know which version you think is the best. Bye.